hello excel users welcome to this smart excel web. in this video i'm going to tell you the difference in if condition and ifs condition and how the ifs conditions are different in uh, normal excel power five or dax array formula tables compared to power query and vba codes and ifs condition is different from the all so we can have else if now my logic is if the unit price is less than or equal to 100 i'm going to buy it or i'm going to leave it so the difference between the two is condition is what this video is about so this is an xlsm format so when you click this you can see the answer and when you click this also this is in a for loop and this is in a do while loop but the issue is when i'm copying the statement and i'm pasting here and i'm going to clear this and when i just do this in a vba for loop so my data is restricted and that the same data is unrestricted when i am using a do while loop so how to clear this in data and make this is a, the video about the differences between vba for loop and vba do while loop so this is this is in the xlsm format and i'm going to do the same thing in a xls x format so now if you want to write if condition i'm going to show you it's like logical test the unit price is less than equal to 100 then this multiplied by this multiplied by this this leave as it is so this is the logic now i'm going to write the same thing in a for loop so if you want to write in the for loop just you have to go to v codes or you can do by inserting a directly in the sheets so i'll be doing for inserting a module and for this i'm going to make a module for for loop so now the sub for underscore loop to so how the how to write the for loop this is i'm going to show you so i have already the cells so this is cell one cell three dot value so i'm going to write the row and column so row is and four is the column value so for this for loop it will be in the seventh one so dim r as integer r so the for loop will be starting from four r equals to so it will be starting from 4 to 20 so this is the restriction 4 to 20 now the if condition will be like if cell r4 so this is the cell r4 so i will copy this self or probably copying this so for the columns i have made in so our four dot value is less than equal to is less is less than equal to hundred then cell seven dot value so i'll be pasting this and changing this into seven dot value will be this multiplied by three multiplied by four else cell 7 dot value will be none so that is an if condition and this is a vb good so it is so much difference is there then i'll be doing a and a next a next r r is for the looping so i'm going to check this uh, i want to check this here so i'll be designing a macro directly from here and uh, so that will be for for which is in caps lock this is xlx x file so when i click with it i got the answer now i'm going to do the same thing for do while loop because this is having having a restriction of 4 to 20. so how to do that in a do while loop is like 
I'm going to insert a new module and the module name will be do underscore while underscore loop. The sub will be do underscore while underscore loop. So the the form the formulas will be the similarly same, but it will be like dim r is equals to it's not four to twenty, so I'll be giving this as a four, but starting from four. So r equals to four. So dim. So first you should give as dim r as integer r equals to four. Now we're starting the do while loop. Do while so I'll be copying the same thing. So I don't want cell r, so I'll be doing this cell r1. I don't need to keep the value because it's not necessary because I'm not making any value is null. So I'll be writing the if condition for do while loop. Do if cell 4 dot value is less than or equal to 100 then we have to put a then and 7 now it was 7 in the loop so it will be r 7 8 so it will be 8 for the for loop dot value equals to multiplied by so it will be 3 multiplied by 8, 3, uh, 3 multiplied by 4. So this will be 3. Else, else again, cell instead of uh, 8 dot value will be null. And I'm going to, and if, and r equals to r plus 1. So it will be looping this. And I'm going to type this as a loop. So this is the one I have written for this one. So now let's make a command for this also. I can directly, I don't want to make this. So, so I'll be assigning this a do while loop so in XLS. So this is the one. So you can see I got the answer. Now when I want to have, when I copy this and when I paste this here again and when I click this, I don't get any difference. But when I click this, you can see the do while is giving a better performance. So it's it keep on moving on. So I showed you how to make a if condition for a for loop in the, also for a do loop while loop so this the differences in the codes and i'm going to show you in the next video how to do the both for table and power query and power pivot in the next video so i feel this you find this video useful please refer to the codes and these are the codes which i've been written for do while loop and this is for the for loop and uh, apart from that uh, Please uh, subscribe to my channel. Please hit the bell icon and uh, you can see the codes are very simple in this one. If you have anything, you can just give me your comments. And I'm going to do the same thing in a table in Power Query and Power Pivot in the next video. So I, I prefer to do go with the do while loop so it has better features. So thanks for watching this video. See you in the next video.